Hey guys, Yoakum here. So as you know, I was on vacation in Phoenix and I wanted to try my hand at some retro spelunking while I was out there. There was a lot of different game stores. I mean, surprisingly more game stores there than where I live. And so I set some time aside when my friends were working to go out and hunt for hidden gems. So what did I get? First off, I got a Game Genie. The Game Genie was released for the NES by a third party called Galoob. And this is how people were able to get their cheat codes back in the day before power saves and cart readers and action replays. Now, I don't think I'll ever actually use it, but it's really neat to have this in my collection as a part of just history from gaming and the way that people always try to push the limits of the games that they got. Next, I picked up a copy of Mario Paint. I picked this up specifically just because it's obscure and I've been kind of getting the bug for finding some odd and obscure games from popular franchises. Now this game I never played when I was younger. I'm looking forward to checking it out and if you guys want to see that let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I'll set up a live stream or just do a playthrough of the game just to see what it's all about. Next up for these two. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004, and I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul. Now, the reason I got these cards is because recently I've gotten a weird bug to pick up a lot more of like the older Yu-Gi-Oh! games back from when I played. I stopped around late GX before 5Ds. I made a little bit of a return during the... I don't remember what it was called, XYZ summoning phase, whatever that one was. But I really want to have been playing some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games for the card series that I grew up with. Next, I got Game & Watch Gallery. Not a whole lot to really say about this one, just really excited to check out some of the older Game & Watch games. Next, I got Monster Rancher Battle Card Game Boy. I saw this game from another YouTuber and I didn't even know it existed. I grew up with Monster Rancher for the PlayStation 1 where it was the coolest thing because you put the game in, you take the game out, and then you put in any random CD to summon a new monster. I had the Little Mermaid soundtrack and the monster that that thing produced was amazing. So I had been wanting this game for a very long time. I played it briefly as a kid and I remember how difficult it was. And then later on, as I saw people talking about it on Facebook, I wanted to find it again so I can play it. I remember Lion King for the Sega Genesis being absolutely brutal. And last, but certainly not least, I picked up an original Tetris game. Not a lot of people know this, but I am just absolutely crazy about Tetris for whatever reason. I play Tetris 99 on my Switch all the time. Still gunning to be number one. I've made it to number six, but not number one just yet. But I wanted to pick up the original Tetris. I saw it at a game store by me, but didn't really want to pay that much. So when I was in Phoenix and I saw this for half the cost, there was no way I was going to pass it up. One of my favorite games and what some professional Tetris players, yes, that is a real thing I just said, this is considered the definitive version of Tetris. Well guys, those were my hidden gems from my adventures of retro spelunking. Now, I do have a couple more things that I'm saving for another video. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, leave that other option alone. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you stay updated on all of my future videos. Alrighty guys, see you later.